Hey guys and welcome. Thanks for watching Mary J's Hauls. Today's video is about the outcome of FMT number three. So guys, if you have not seen my previous videos on why I decided to do an FMT or the preps that I took before it um, and the ingredients that you may need, go ahead and go check those guys out. I will put a link below. Um, so outcome of FMT number three. And again, I did an FMT due to the fact that I've got chronic idiopathic urticaria or chronic hives. I have autoimmune disorders that are leading to autoimmune diseases and I have chronic gastro issues. In addition to that, lately over the past year and a half, I've started to take on more anxiety than I typically would. So FMTs have also been known to help cure anxiety. I will create separate videos about my anxiety and the process with that and the FMTs. Um, so for the main things that I'm doing the FMT for is the chronic hives, the chronic constipation or gastro issues, and then my autoimmune disorders slash diseases, um, I have yet to see improvement. After FMT number three, I did not get any bad reaction, no cramps, no pain in the stomach, no diarrhea, no none of that. Um, I did realize that the next day my hives were worse, but like I said in some of my previous videos, I was cutting back on my medications just due to the fact that I wanted to see the effect of the FMT in my body, but as well as the fact that one of the medications I take, the prednisone, it shuts down your immune system. So if there was something foreign and bad that my body took in from my donor that it needed to fight off, my body would not be able to fight it off. So I slow down on my medications each time I do an FMT also just to gauge the accuracy and to see if it's really taking hold or having any effect. Now from the other people I've talked to who have found success with FMTs for uh, various reasons, none of the ones that I explained. Um, they said that it took about 10 FMTs in order for it to start sticking, and even after that, it didn't stick right away. It like progressively, all their symptoms got better and eventually subsided, and they were, you don't want to say cured, but definitely much better off than they were before. So I will be posting a picture right here, always the opposite, right here of what my hives looked like when I woke up this morning after my FMT number three. Um, I'm really crossing my fingers that this turns out to work well for me. Guys, follow my progress. Check out my other videos. I am leaving tutorials, tips, tricks, all of the above for people who are t dabbling with the idea of DIY FMT. So I will keep putting content out there for you guys to keep seeing. So click the like button, the subscribe button, and the notifications button, guys. I would greatly appreciate it. Have a good one.